springtime had finally arrived in the small village of Harleydale. Jean and Harold, who have lived in the village for many years, were relaxing in their garden. It's good to sit out and enjoy a glass of wine, said Jean. It's been a long, cold winter. It certainly has, said Harold. I can't wait to get back into the garden and go on some long walks with the dog. Well, said Jean, taking a sip of wine. For you should mention the garden. I had a dream about it last night. This doesn't sound good, said Harold. Sounds like more work for me. It's not that bad, said Jean. It's something we could quite easily achieve. Go on, said Harold, as he takes a drink of wine. What were you dreaming about? Well, said Jean, I dreamt about that old pile of rocks behind the garage. We used them to build a raised bed, planted some heathers, and we fitted a water feature. Okay, he says, that sounds reasonable to me. Let us enjoy this afternoon, and we can make a start this weekend. Harold drinks the last drop of his wine and closes his eyes. Well, it's a nice day today, thought Harold. I think I'll make a start on Jean's dream garden. She's going to be out all day with the W.I., so it'll be a nice surprise when she returns. Anyway, I can get more done when I'm on my own. She always interrupts and tells me I'm not doing things right. After a few hours of hard going, Harold was pleased with his progress. He had built the raised bed and planted all the heathers. He takes off his cap, wipes the sweat from his forehead, and admires what he has achieved so far. That looks pretty good to me, even though I say so myself. But now for that water feature. I wish Jean would have agreed to my suggestion of a water feature that had a solar panel. It would have been much easier to install. This one she's chosen needs wiring up the garage. So that's another extra job to sort out. After a while, the water feature was in place and safely wired up to the garage. Harold switched it on and it worked perfectly. Excellent, he said. That looks good to me. I hope Jean likes where I position this. I don't fancy rerouting all the wiring if she decides she wants it somewhere else. I deserve a sit down and a drink, said Harold to himself. It's been hard work and I haven't stopped all day. I just hope Jean likes what I've done and appreciates all the hard work that's gone into it. Harold pours himself a large glass of wine, sits in the lounger and closes his eyes. Harold! Harold! shouts Jean. Tea's ready. Harold, a little startled, rubs his eyes. Hello, Jean. I must have nodded off. I didn't realise you were back. Back, said Jean, sounding a little puzzled. I haven't been anywhere. Harold quickly stands up and walks to the back of the garage. He couldn't believe his eyes. That pile of old drops was still there. He looks back at his empty glass on the table. Oh dear, he says, I must cut down on the wine. All that hard work, and it was just a dream. <laughs>